Hi everybody, it's Joe from PocketNow.com. Today I've got just a short little tutorial video for you. You'll see on the table in front of me is my Google Nexus One. Now what I did in a previous video is I loaded up a custom ROM on this phone. It is unlocked so I can do all kinds of cool stuff like that. But now I want to go back in time. I want to restore a backup that I made earlier. To do that I have to boot up into recovery mode so I hold down the down volume button and the power button at the same time and I let go of the power button and you'll notice here is my bootloader and in just a minute it's gonna flash with another little menu there you go and I'm gonna use my down volume to select recovery and press power to select that's gonna reboot the phone into recovery mode that'll take a minute so I'll be right back All right, we are up in the Android system recovery. This is the raw Nexus 1.7. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down and select backup and restore. The important part to remember about restoring a backup is you have to have backed up first. If not, you don't have anything to restore from. So we're going to go ahead and select backup restore. I know I've already restored I've already backed up before and I've already restored from this backup as well. So we're just going to come down here and do NAND Restore. In here we've got two different restore files that are kind of cryptically named. We're going to choose the latter of the two. Alright, so I selected that bottom option and now I have all of these different backups to choose from. Um, kind of has your date in it if you can look right here see if you can zoom in okay that bottom one says that it's 20100424 with some other stuff after it now I happen to know that it is 2010 and it is April the 24th and I've only done one backup today so that's the one I want I'm gonna go ahead and select that one it says hey are you sure you want to restore this press the trackball to confirm so I'll do that and it starts restoring. Now a restoration is going to take, generally speaking, about as long as your initial backup took. Sometimes a little bit longer. In my case, that was about eight minutes. So I'm expecting it to take about the same here. You do have the little buttons across the bottom, the, the little dots here to show you the restore process. So you don't have to watch dots. I'll let it finish and I'll be right back. Okay. Just about five minutes after, uh, you'll notice down at the bottom it says my restore is complete and I'm back at my backup and restore menu. I'm going to press the volume down button to go back to the main menu and then that's my root system recovery menu. I'm going to select the first option which is reboot system now and it tells me that it's rebooting and it should come back up with my unlock Nexus One boot screen which is what it's doing right now. Now just like installing a custom ROM Restoring from a backup is pretty first boot intensive. So this first boot is going to take some amount of time. Uh, you should plan on it being anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes the first time. It's probably going to be less than that, but don't be concerned if it does run into the 15 minute range. That's entirely within the normal amount of times uh, you could expect to wait. I don't want you to wait that long, so we'll be right back. Okay, and just like that, the boot has completed and I am at my stock Nexus One boot screen, or uh, lock screen rather. I'm running the Cyanogen Mod ROM on it. And I can come over to the CM updater. We'll just run a quick check and see if Steve Kondik has updated from 5.0.6 and 1. And it turns out, no, he has not put out any updates since the last time I did it, but just that easy, now I'm back at the ROM that I installed before, the one that I have customized, the one you can even see, I've got my calendar on here, I've got all of my widgets set up the way that I want them to be, I've even got a nice picture of my dad and my brother as my wallpaper. 
So we're all good to go. I tried out a new ROM, decided I wanted to go back, and did that all in about half an hour's time. Uh, I would highly recommend that you do this, even if you don't plan on updating to new ROMs. Uh, every so often, whenever you do a major update, or preferably before you do a major update, like installing a whole bunch of apps or removing a whole bunch, um, and especially before you update to a new ROM, or try an entirely different ROM on your phone, reboot up into that recovery console, and then into your special recovery ROM, and, and run a NAND backup. Uh, I'd recommend doing it about every week or so. It doesn't take too much time to run the backup, it doesn't take too much time to restore from it, it takes substantially less time to do either or both of those than it does to revert back to factory and custom configure everything on your phone again. So this has been a Android tip from Joe at PocketNow.com.